If you're a fan of old school bodybuilding, then make sure to check out Subs the Movie. Filmmaker Alex Ardenti explores the $40 billion sports supplement industry, delving into the origins, evolution, and current state of supplements used by millions of fitness enthusiasts worldwide, available at Amazon and Vimeo. Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here. Now, this is truly a special moment. Um, I've just received a package from the son of Rocky Kent, and I've literally just opened the package, as you can see. Um, I'm so excited, that I'm almost speechless. And I've literally just pulled out the folder, and I can see that there's photos here. Um, I haven't even opened it, I swear to God, I'm just about to, just for you, uh, a full life presentation. Um, it's a folder containing, uh, I'm assume, from, from what I got from an email, of Rocky Kent's son. And he's literally sent me every photo that he has, his training programs. Hell, I could write a book on Rocky Kent, and I'm even considering it. So here goes, and please don't mind my excitement, because this is going to be awesome! Oh my god, here we go. Here we go. Oh my god, this is just brilliant. Rocky Kent. Now, I've done a video on Rocky Kent, maybe one or two by now. And I'll tell you the story before I just go through this. This is just so cool. Um, I made a, a story on Rocky Kent. It was called um, The Green Mile Lookalike. Um, and it featured Rocky Kent. Now, I, I first enc uh, encountered this bodybuilder, Rocky Kent, as he was called, in, in Your Physique, in the 1950 magazines. And I was astounded as, at his bicep pig. You can see it, actually, how enormous his bicep was. And also at his face, he looks just like the guy from the Green Mile. I think it's called M Michael Clark Duncan. I think he just he passed away a few years ago. Uh, very famous for the Green Mile movie. And um, when I made that video, Rocky Kent's son got in contact with me, and he was really, I'll say, extremely happy that I made a video uh, paying homage to his father. And since then, we've been chatting and kind of become friends on, on, on over the internet. And he asked me, of course, to send him articles on his father, which I've been doing regularly now. And to my surprise, he sent me what I would consider this folder. I've, I tell you, I've, I haven't, I've just opened it. I have no idea what's in here. And what it looks like, it's just... I could almost write a book on all this information. I can't imagine what's in here. So here goes. Let's see what it, there is. Here we go. So we've got um, a wonderful photo of his father. We've got what appears to be, so here we go, a um, newspaper article, a reprint of it, a copy. Thank you again for all this information. Muscle man Rocky Kent, as I said, that's his name. Uh, at least that was his name on the magazines. His son actually told me that his real name was slightly different. Um, and Chairman Davis, well, I mean, one thing I do know about Rocky is that it was very, very short man, like five foot three or, or something. But his incredible physique made him look really, really tall. I mean, standing next to this other man, you can see how small he was, but he was strong. And yeah, I mean, look at all those trophies. Wow. Wow. Amazing. Sante Force. Wow. This is from a French magazine with a... Oh, so Rocky's actually featured in uh, this French magazine. I had no idea. I had no idea. This is the great thing about this channel, I have to admit. I get to really reach... Uh, my videos seem to reach out to families. And, yeah, I mean, I'm just really happy that this happens. You know, like when I get family members contacting me and telling me Thank you for your videos. Thank you for honoring my, my um, father or whatever, my, my ancestor. And yeah, I mean, and, and then these wonderful things happen. I get to see information that probably no one in the world has ever seen. And I'm truly grateful. So I really thank, thank you. Um, oh, his name, it's very hard to say. Thank you, Kam Kamal. His name is Kamal Akil. Um, and yeah, I won't say where he's from or anything. But um, thank you very much, Kamal. I really appreciate your your um, wonderful gift because it's ex that's exactly what it is. Here's another French magazine, obviously with Rocky Kent again, with uh, showing off all his trophies. I can't read French, but um, I, I oh man, 
Here we go. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Beautiful reprints. I bet no one in the world has these. Of Rocky Kent. Oh my lord. Look at this stuff. Look at this stuff. Damn, this guy was massive. Damn. Wonderful. Just wonderful. Wonderful. Let me put those aside here. Beautiful. Some more, uh, man, it looks like Rocky Kent was really featured in the French magazines. That's, a, that's fantastic. Now I have to buy the French magazines. <laughs> Just to read more about him and, and I guess all the other bodybuilders. Yeah, he just keeps being featured again and again and again. Now, this is this is a magazine I do own. And um, there's Rocky. But um, I don't think I've, I've read this magazine yet. Coloured Athletes. Featuring Rocky Kent. Oh, here we go. These are the causes I, I, I mentioned. And apparently Rocky Kent has it, had his own training programs. Oh my god, look at the age of these. These are originals. I thought he was going to send me copies. Oh my god. This is truly something. Oh my god, this is incredible. I'm going to have to ask her. <laughs> I want to ask her. The sun, if I can actually reprint these, because these are original silver era programs from a champion bodybuilder. I can't believe this. This is incredible. Oh my god. I bet you're all dying to read this. <laughs> There's several pages of it. It's just pages and pages of, of programs. Wow. And you can see how old these are. Look at the staples. They're all uh, rusty. I mean, these programs must have been sitting in um, Rocky's home since the 50s. So we're talking 70-year-old programs. I mean, they're, they're, they're written in, in, in a, with a typewriter or something. That's just incredible. What have we got in here? What's, what's this? It's a sealed letter. Oh, I better not uh, show you the address. What is this? Oh, see, see what I mean? This is exactly what I mean. He writes me a thank you letter. And uh, we can see here, I hope this is actually recording. Is it recording? I can't tell. Okay, it is recording. He's written a letter, Carlos, because of your incredible. Uh, I don't know what it says. Uh, working of the Silver Era or research or something. Um, when I saw the feature that you did on my father, I let I felt so much love, pride, respect, and honor. So many wonderful memories that came flooding back. I am forever grateful, Carlos. Please keep doing what you do. I. Now, this donation is just a small token of my appreciation. Love, peace, and blessings, Kamal Kill. Wow, thank you, Kamal. He's actually sent me a little check in the thank you letter. My goodness, he's for real. For 200 bucks, oh my god, that's incredible. Thank you, Kamal. I was not expecting this at all, Jesus. Wow, thank you. Uh, this is truly fantastic. This is incredible. Uh, thank you, Kamal. I mean, you, you haven't just made my day, but I really want to speak to you about this. I have to speak to you now about all this. I, I wasn't expecting this at all. Um, but, I mean, oh my lord, look at this. Look at these photos. So Rocky Kent apparently did bout as a wrestler with three men. Oh my goodness. He's three men here against Rocky. You can see them. One, two. One's holding his head. Oh my god. The other one's attacking, attacking from the front while he's got another one in a headlock this is just beautiful <laughs> oh my goodness rocky kent rocky kent i'm learning more about you 1958 mr ontario canadian bench press contest 
So we got Rocky Kent featuring Rocky Kent. Amazing. Amazing. Wow. Wow. This is on par with what uh, John John Park gave me. I mean, this is coming from the family, you know? This is coming from the family. Oh, let me uh, put these in order. Oh my goodness. I'm going to have to start, like, albums on each of these legends now. I'm getting so many photos. Here's another great photo of Rocky Kent wrestling. Uh, with some guy, I'm not sure who. Uh, and I was told about this. Uh, he used to train... With these uh, cement blocks. <laughs> you know, for all the people that talk about, you know, that they had the money to buy testosterone and this and that. And these guys come up with all these excuses. Look at this guy. I mean, just look at him. Does, he, does it look like he even can afford to go to the gym, for God's sake? And you're all talking about steroids and testosterone. I mean, no. <laughs> these guys train their freaking asses off with whatever they could they would carry a truck if they needed to to develop their physique this is a testament to what i keep saying uh there's some more photos here on on uh on some articles and rocky kent i mean these guys are just freaking legends these beautiful photos again of rocky here he's obviously performing some strength feats wonderful strength feats Oh my god, he must have sent close to 30 or 40 photos. Here's some more wonderful photos. I'm just trying not to fold them, you know. These are wonderful photos of Rocky with his pals. Yeah, just fantastic. More on his uh, wrestling days. Don't want to bend them or anything. I don't want to damage them. More on his wrestling days. I might have to interview his son. This is just. I swear I could almost write a book on this guy. Maybe I should. A yeah, wonderful back. Beautiful powerlifting back. Weightlifting back. That's what these guys did. They were not shy with the heavy weights. They trained the freaking asses off. That's why they're so huge. Look at this guy. You know what I mean? You can't get away, just lift a human for God's sake. There you go. <laughs> Incredible. Incredible. One handed bent press with a barbell, 135 pounds. You try that with a barbell. Damn. Awesome. Fantastic. This peaky biceps. Peaky. Wow. Amazing. What can I say? Um, thank you so much, Kamal. This is, this, I, I'm absolutely honored by your oop, incredible gift. Um, these photos, these silver era, original silver era training programs from your father, which I'm sure everybody's going to be salivating over. Original articles that I've never seen before. What can I say? I will continue, uh, I guess, I'll, I'll have to create more videos on your father. Based on all this information I've been given, extremely rare. I, I dare to say that nobody else except you and me have this in the world. This is truly amazing. Uh, yeah. What can I say? Thank you again. Um, guys, everybody out there, my audience, if you've enjoyed the video, this fresh un unpacking of this wonderful archive, history of Rocky Kent. A long forgotten legend in the history of bodybuilding. If you've loved the video, please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't to the Golden Era Bookworm. Leave me a comment and thank you for watching. You see where my research goes. Please um, donate via PayPal if you can. Um, become a patron. Visit my website. And uh, get in touch if you wish to um, collaborate or even pass on photos like this where I can archive them and, and learn more about these Silver Era legends. Hope you've enjoyed the video. This is the Golden Era Bookworm. Bye for now. Now, if you're interested in learning more about Vince Deronda's approach to bodybuilding, his principles, and all these tips of wisdom that he has, I mean, there's so much stuff that probably hasn't been proven by science, and it will take science to prove or disprove uh, Vince, but to be honest, these three books 
I believe, which I call the classic physique bundle, are the best books that Vince ever came out with. And they, of course, are the Wild Physique, the Master Series, and the Pro Series. Have a look at it this way. The Wild Physique, I believe, is like the ABCs of Vince Gironda's principles to bodybuilding. He teaches you the exercises and his principles. But how do you put them together? Well, the Master Series is a 14-month program of using all of these principles, all of the diets that Vince came out with, all of the exercises. And believe me, it's a brilliant, brilliant program. Many people have used it. I know I know personally a lot of uh, bodybuilders that have actually used it and uh, f made fantastic results with it. And of course, the Pro Series was a book that he came out with later on, specially targeted for uh, getting into competition. It's just these, these three books, as I call it, the classic physique bundle, uh, Vince's best work, and available, of course, at www.goldenerabookum.com. Now, the Pro Series of Bodybuilding, which was targeted for professional bodybuilders, is a contains six programs, each of which go for two months each, so it's a whole year, uh, again, in preparation for competition. Online training is now available, including my new program, Novice to Classic, a program geared towards beginners and novices looking at developing a classic physique, as well as Classic Cut, geared at those who wish to lose weight and gain muscle fast. Details available at www.goldenerabooking.com. Need a bodybuilding poster for your gym or office? Then check out ironmanmagazinearchive.smugmug.com for the highest quality posters on the planet. Scroll through the galleries of all the legends, including greats such as Arnold, Frank Zane, Sergio Oliva, Serge Nubre, Tom Platz, and Larry Scott, and much, much more, and select your poster now. Your favorite YouTube channel, please visit teespring.com slash store slash golden era bookworm for merchandise, including t-shirts, hoodies, face masks, phone cases, and much, much more. Once again, at teespring.com slash store slash golden era bookworm. Become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books, scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding. To take full advantage of my collaborations, use code GEB20 with nspnutrition.com and vincegeronda.com as well as code bookworm12 at osl.com for a discount at checkout. I don't think that Bill Phillips looked at it as I want to compete against them. I want to destroy them. If they pass legislation basically making any type of food supplement a prescription item, that would be the end, the death of the entire food supplement industry. In the 1960s, the sports supplement industry was barely emerging. I think the reason why Joe Weider was so successful was he had Arnold on his side. He wasn't selling supplements. He was in the dream business. Joe Weider was a marketing genius. People would say the promotions or the endorsements back then were cheesy. To me, it wasn't. I loved it. Fitness was taking off. You know, fitness became cool. You had a lot of readers that wanted to be like the stars that they idolized. Bill's strength is his marketing savvy. He's a marketing genius. Got it, got it. It's only vitamin. The right of American citizens to have free access to dietary supplements of their choice. Consult your physician, you might as well consult the next guy you meet on the street. They don't know a damn thing about vitamins and nutrition. The dietary supplement industry became the number two most regulated industry. Nuclear, dietary supplements, pharmaceutical. We are more regulated than drugs. They come in and you uh, need to allow the FDA. They have jurisdiction. The enforcement is kind of the questionable side of it and how do they really get a handle on this monster? A lot of people tell me that the dietary supplement industry is completely unregulated. It's the wild, wild west out there. It's a free for all. That could not be further from the truth. A dietary supplement is not allowed to have a side effect. I always say the pharmaceutical has to have a minimum of 100 side effects in order for it to be a drug. And now, it's a $40 billion industry and growing. That's the really interesting thing, is the cast of characters from the 80s, when it was kind of iffy, to now, when it's a lot more legitimate. They made it sound cutting edge, revolutionary, and different, and I want that. That's cool. We are in this industry to improve our health. It's not just a vanity project here. We're working on our lifeline. We eat a certain way to improve our health. We train a certain way to improve our health. 
Supplements are just that. They supplement your work, your graft, your nutrition. Uh, they demonize dietary supplements, but they say all you need is real food. Well, what's a real food? They pump you up and get you hard, stronger, faster, bigger. Doc, I want to take this weight gain. I want to take this pre-workout. Doctors, no! No way! I, that stuff, we don't know what's in that. It could be, no way! I'm not going to give you... It's going to kill the industry, bottom line. So I must have drank so much protein powder from age 15 to 18 that my head was going to explode. <laughs> I believed in metrics so much that I would probably punch somebody in the face if they tried to take it away from me.